Hey everyone, so I will show you something really, really amazing. Here I'm working on this Porsche, right? And we need this window here. And if we see this window has a little, little bit of a curve, curvature, right? And we want a super high quality surface uh, because why we will attach to this window a lot of other surfaces so like every basically everything what is here silver we will attach to to this surface so we need a very high quality uh, surface and yeah so how to do that you could do just patch it right but yeah you see it it doesn't work at all you could join everything and patch it again and here you see it's already much better but then you see you have here this super crazy thing ongoing and in general it's just flat right then what you could do you could maybe start to add the curve here and uh, subdivide it and put this control point curve a little bit out so you have a little bit of a rounding and then you could just loft those guys here at this curve and add that and then you would have a little bit of a curve but yeah you can basically completely forget this curve because you have something like that so you can do a lot of other crazy stuff and, and, and experiment around or you do something completely crazy um, so I've prepared already here two massive curves and we will just love them and you might think okay now what Nikita so how can we do that so that's the whole magic. We will delete those curves and we will isolate everything here so we can have some really isolated fun and just we curves and just we the curves and the surface. So press point and now select this uh, surface and just bring it approximately here to the middle and now and literally no one is showing you that on whole YouTube in plasticity. So what we can do is we can. So why I'm so hyped about this straight surface? Because this straight surface. So if we raise degree here. So with the shift S command, you see, it's just super um, clean. All of our CVs, we can we have perfect control and also our edges here. So it's a little bit advanced here, what I'm telling you here. So if you don't know what this is, I explain everything in a car course, but just very quickly. So we have the curve here and you see, we just have two CVs. So this curve is created out of this edge. So we always want to, to work with like super simple surfaces because we, especially in car modeling, we attach a lot to this surface. And then if one input, so with what we start is shit, then everything will be shit. So let's go back and do something really amazing. So we select the surface and we just press shift S and shift S again. So we raise uh, the degree of that surface. And now we will use here our um, side window curve references exactly as references. So select them all and we just lock them so we can't select them. And now, oh man, this is so fun. I don't know. I'm so hyped. I, I, I said already five times that this is amazing, but it, it just really is. And now we can take those CVs and look, we can atta at, um, attach now this surface and uh, not uh, attach. We can kind of sculpt it two that we match it as almost exact as possible it doesn't have to be even 100 percent exact because then we can so yeah it's super hard to explain that uh, just in a very quick tutorial but um yeah we can just adjust all of the points and you see this curve uh, this surface is kind of curved right and why we do this is because then we can just use this curve and just cut this perfect sheet piece away from this main sheet that that we are sculpting right now 
and we will get a, such a better quality uh, edges and surface and then we can attach all of the surface to this surface in a much much better way so let me just do that here quickly and if we need a little bit more control we can erase the grid one more time and then we have even more points and then we just have to drag and just play a little bit around and look it's basically very very close and once we are finished with our operation, we can take our clean curves because you see they are all degree 2 or degree 3, that's fine. So we can take them and see and imprint them onto our surface and we can delete this outer piece and we can go and you see this face is very so of course you can spend even more time to get it absolutely perfectly right but now we have an absolute perfect surface look <laughs> it's so uh, man it's so amazing i really love that look it's we have no issues at all and we basically have yeah a perfect surface and now if i bring all of those other stuff back and you see everything looks absolutely amazing. And if you want to learn the full step-by-step -step process of modeling a Porsche 911 from scratch, I've created a brand new course that teaches you industry standard techniques with easy to use plasticity tools. You will master everything from creating precise curves to producing high quality complex surfaces and blending seamless transitions. All broke down into simple steps so join the revolution of 3d modeling in plasticity check out first link in the description box and enroll now to experience the power of plasticity like never before and unlock your true creative potential today first link in the description box see you in there